how to use the online lectures. You know, I've been studying philosophy, reading, attending lectures for a while, so I've got some ideas about how I can best learn. Your case might be different, so you can use them however you want, but here are my suggestions. I think it's very important to watch these lectures with a friend as much as you can. Perhaps you can connect with somebody via you know, Facebook or um, some kind of WhatsApp or something like that and watch the lectures together with them and talk about them as you go through, much as you would if you were in the lecture theatre. When I'm giving live lectures, I want those lectures to be quite interactive. And as you'll see, there are points where I'm going to encourage people to talk to each other. And I think it's very good if you can replicate some of that in the offline. Try to watch with a friend, try to talk with a friend. Another thing I do a lot is take notes. I take notes while I'm in the lecture, and sometimes if the lecture's any good, I'll go through those notes and rewrite them after a lecture as well to consolidate my knowledge. It takes time, but it pays off. When I'm giving these lectures, I'm speaking quite slowly, and I'm often using repetition. I would expect you often to want to speed this thing up, and there is a fast forward button, so you can watch at 1.5 speed or twice the normal speed, and I would encourage you to do that. The other thing I would encourage you to do is to skip around. You don't necessarily want to watch from the beginning to the end. Maybe at some point you're bored, right? Jump ahead, find a different topic in the uh, particular section or look for another section. You know as a learner very often what you need to learn and so it's up to you to skip around. And the last thing is to ask questions. There are opportunities to do this in the uh, live online session, also in the seminars, not just of me, but also of your friends and other people on the course. It's very important as part of your work here to be asking and discussing questions. One more thing about these lectures. What you'll notice is that when I'm using these online lectures, I'm quite often giving you a circle like this. This circle is a sign that a timer is about to come. So typically I have asked you a question, right? Who's your favorite philosopher? Who's the best philosopher? Something like that. Uh, and what you're gonna find is that every circle takes 90 seconds to complete. And in those 90 seconds, I expect you to be thinking about the question and talking it through with a friend, perhaps preparing yourself to write a sentence or two or to answer some questions about it. I really hope you enjoy these recordings. I've been giving lectures for a while. I feel like I've learned a few things about giving face-to-face -face lectures. This is the first time for me giving online lectures. So I don't promise you that they're gonna be the best ever. On the other hand, I think sometimes the first time you do it, it's a little bit more interesting for the audience when things go wrong and all the rest of it. For example, I shouldn't be talking while the circle's going, right? This should be the, your time for thinking. I should never be talking while the circle's moving. But you know what? 90 seconds is a really long time. Let's go on and get to the lectures.